Well, the time's three o'clock, and uh, well, I went to A and B Cycles. I got the uh, new inner tubes on. Well, I, I changed the flap myself, but I had the guy at A and B check check everything out, look at everything over, and make sure everything was in line, everything was doing right. So they do me a good job at A and B Cycles. Wow, he's just taking it off the rack and he adjusted it really good. So I should be good to go. Tubes, one, two, three. <laughs> Gotta have them. I'll be gone by that time. I got some miles to get, man. All right, you take it easy. Appreciate y'all's right. help. Thanks, buddy. All right, man. It's three o'clock on that clock over there. You, you might not see it. Let me do it in a Three o'clock. All right. Now I got to get ready to go. But this is where I'm at, the McDonald's. The drive through is open, but. And they got good cold water, clean bathroom. So if you're riding at night or daytime, I guess a lot of people come over here, but that's the Hardy's right over there. <laughs> I like it. Well, the sun hadn't come up yet, but the sky looks pretty. I want to show you this fence. When I first came by, it was dark and I was just thinking about riding and I didn't see that they'd got this far. But we'll see how far he gets the rest of the day. Look at my blinky light. See it on that stop sign? Oh, let me show you the moon. The moon is beautiful. Cut a lot of that out. God, if you didn't know no better, you'd think the sun was going to be up from way over there. But actually, it's going to come up from right about there. Okay, I got to get on down that road. Well, the sun's coming up. I caught it right between these trees right here. I thought I'd zoom in on it, see what it looks like. Uh, it's been a beautiful night. So it must be something like six, 10 minutes after six, I think. I think that's about right. But yeah, that's beautiful. What's that in the sky? What? What do we have here? Leaving a trail. Is that the good guys or is that the bad guys? I don't know. I hope it's good guys. There is a leak out on the internet that says Q says that Trump has overthrown the chemtrail mechanisms all around the world and so they're not allowed to spray any negative uh, chemtrails for mankind's sake and uh, so they said if you did see something as of a few days ago uh, it's they said they're spraying something that is actually counteracting what all they've been doing for all these years. All right, now that's one story that I'd love to be true. You know, if they've been spraying us with deadly chemicals and not telling us what they're putting in the skies, and hopefully it'll stop and the, we can get on about the business of busting out the bad guys left and right. That's just something that I don't talk about very often is my belief in Q, Q9, and what's going on with Trump being a real white hat and taking on the Luma donkey and doing a damn good job at it. So. All right, well, it's 
going to get so bright here in a few minutes I won't be able to sun gaze. So I'm going to cut this off and sun gaze while I got a chance. Well, here's another one of them signs. So evidently they're gonna be going down this road. Okay, I just want to point out the fact that the bike riders will be out here pretty soon. I gotta do uh, another lap to Hardy's and then maybe one more and be six. So I'm working on my fifth lap. Well, I pulled up and we got some bicycles here. Look at them. I think I can cut that right off. Well, what we got here is a little cow. It ain't a full grown cow. Now, oh, it's going to hit the fence. Bam! It ran from that truck. I wonder, did it get in? Uh uh. Yeah, I see it in the ditch now. Block my view. Yeah, I think it's probably that because the bike wanting to go that direction. You think it's that mama's cow? Oh. I see what you're saying. She's just hanging right there. Hey, bike riders! There's a cow loose down there. Be careful. Okay. Cows will eat. New bike, Kent. Thank you. Cows will eat bike riders. Driver? Uh, I am, but I hardly ever use it. Yeah, yeah. Are you, you, are you on the Care to Learn ride? No, ma'am. Oh, yeah, we are neither. Yeah, there's, there's a, a pretty good few groups I've seen already. Yeah. yeah. My day's almost through. I got to get back to Ozark. I'll be done. Oh, that's where, where we started. Live, where live uh, you know where the OC is? Yeah. yeah. Over there by the OC. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. we, we live, live up from uh, Finley Park. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In in is a hell of a ride first thing in the morning, gets your heartbreak going. Yeah. Did y'all come That's up here? Up that other hill. Okay, you went uh you went across Green Bridge. We went to V B and then to U. U and then VB. Oh I got you. Yeah, you I got and VB and then we're gonna go out Rogersville. Yeah. And then back. Back yeah. 186. They should have left us at Riverside Bridge for a bike uh, bridge. I know. Well, I, supposedly they're going we miss to redo it. it. Yeah, we'll see. with a bike lane on it. Yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. see. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. What your model is it? 57. 57 Ford. Station wagon. Where'd you get the uh, surfboard at? California. Wow. That's an original California board. Yes, sir. I'm going to touch it. Robert's Surf Shop. Look at me touch. And this is an antique. Yeah, 19. That sucker looks heavy. I, I'm a kite boarder. We use a different kind of board and we use a kite to pull us with the wind. It's fun. I've been seeing that you passed me, but I ain't had time to actually look at it. It says country sedan. Country sedan. Well, you just left it really rusket looking. I bet you get a lot of attention. Hi. I gotta snap a few pictures while I'm walking. 
Boy, look at that surfboard. Y'all got a first hand look at that thing. Don't want to look at his private stuff. I like the eight ball. You're going to break it, just put an eight ball in it. All right, man. Thank you, sir. You got to love it. Original California surfboard. Fiberglass. who that lady in that chase car was but I shouted at her about a power bar and she had these almonds that was all she had she, didn't, she had some water I didn't need the water but she saved my life I needed these almonds in a bad way hmm. I'm about I'm about to die <laughs> oh my goodness I gave I, I've almost run out of gas chasing these people. Oh. <laughs> I'm about to die. Ah. I knew it when I got started catching up with them that I was going to draft off of them and then I was going to pass them. And I, I passed a few. Here come a truck. He like, what is he doing? I'm out of gas. <laughs> I'm out of gas. Mm. Man, these almonds are good. Oh my God. I'm at 98 miles. Hold on. Look down the street while you got a chance. It's almost 10 o'clock. Dang, I know I'm turning the camera and shaking it a lot, trying to show you that. I didn't even know what time it is, but it's almost 10 o'clock. It'd be 10.30 or later by the time I get to Ozark. Oh, I started it. I started at two o'clock. Now it's on the road. I'm pretty sure about two. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to wake up and do it again tomorrow. I may have to do a short day. I may have to do 46 or 62, I don't know. I'll just have to wait. i got to see if I can recover after this. Anytime I catch up with people, I, it's just something about wanting to go fast. And if you're drafting, you can go fast. Some of these people don't know how to draft, but I managed to hang on with a couple of them. All oh, the wind is picked up. Can you hear it? Look at the trees. It's blowing out of the south. That means I got a headwind all the way back to Ozark. So let me shut this thing off and quit talking. I'll let you know if I recover. All right. Thank you for watching my videos. Subscribe. And Hey, do something different. Share it. Share my videos with your family and friends. I need all the help I can get. Bye.